<sighs> ah. So for some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to buy a cheap batting cage. It says to lay out the contents all nice and neatly, but the net doesn't fold neatly like it shows in the picture. And it doesn't make any sense. Hold on. This thing cost less than $150 when I bought it. It's not quite the cheapest now, but it is like the cheapest one that says it's good for real baseball's high impact. We're gonna put that to the test, see how well it holds up. It looks like it's honestly like, like fishing net, you know? Like something you'd go buy from Home Depot, you know, cause I'm an expert fisherman. Instructions aren't that clear. They say, lay out the cage on a flat surface. Extend and connect each, each section of the two fiberglass poles and the four steel poles. Their position as shown, steel pole, fiberglass, pole steel. What? Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. It's like, where's Waldo? You got to find the poles in the picture. When they show you inserting the fiberglass pole, it shows a different color. Mine aren't blue. Huh. That's fiberglass, that's steel. Okay, well, I guess this might be what you expect for a $150 batting cage. Um, by the way, it's 10 by 13 by 10, or 10, 13 by 10 by 10 or something. So it's not a full batting cage. And online, it actually shows that there is a hole in the net for the pitching machine, but this one doesn't have a hole. Okay, guys, I didn't read the instructions well. It made a lot more sense when I was actually setting it up. It was good to read the instructions because I sort of had an idea, but... You know, maybe that's why people don't read instructions because they don't understand them. It makes them feel dumb. We got it all set up in only about, uh, what, like 10, 15 minutes or so. <laughs> Weirdest part is this. You bend the rod, you set the pin, you hope it stays. Brother, I don't really understand that and why it's... I may have the net all bent in a weird way and it may not actually work. I don't think that's right. Do you see that? How it's all folded on each other? Oh, is this going to fling and break my eye? Who knows? Okay. Now there's that. Okay. What if we try to flip it up now? Is it just too folded on itself? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I think... Oh, man. Okay. There we go. There we go, baby. Come on. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, man. No! Okay, there's that. Now we're gonna have to tie it down. Do I have the stakes? I actually don't know if I do. I'm gonna have to set this up in the grass too. Oh no. Uh, uh -huh. But we want it to be full length, right? Ah, it's a thing, right? Okay, stand up. All right. I need this, right? And a little bit of front tension. Okay. Yep. That's right. Oh, this is where you really need two people. This, as if it was standing up, I have to come over here, tie up under this. Right? Don't buy this. Uh huh. Mm. Uh -huh. Whoa, what just snapped? Oh, it broke. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't fall, baby. Ah. Oh. All right, guys, I finally did it. I broke the fiberglass. I have these all sorts of directions. They're knotted up. It's not stretched out fully. It's definitely not straight. Let's see if it stands up when we hit it. I don't know. Now, I haven't really trained in a long time due to a few injuries, as you guys have seen and well heard about maybe or not. But So I'm just going to work some soft toss and do some connection drill, maybe miss a ball or two, and then see how it holds up. These are the first swings against it. First swings against it, okay? Oh yeah, solid. Okay, the rubber balls are working. Ow, ow. That was my head. I got a 70 plane score. Take that as a dub. Machine, the soft house machine sort of broke, so it's not throwing that well. Oh, damn. 
There we go. So, with the rubber balls, it's holding up pretty well. Something in my shoe. You can see at the back or along the sides, it's not pulled down, so balls will escape the cage. Rip all the progress I made over the winter and well, more progress videos to get it back. Okay, I'm just taking G hacks over here. Hey, 9.2, and we're getting back up there. If I can max 10 today, I can max 13 or 14 next week, probably. All right, we got the real baseball set up. They don't throw that far with this soft toss machine because it's this one's real old. My other one just broke. Um, well, just broke. It broke a while ago. But this one's pretty old. The spring is not that strong. It only has one leg. <coughs> At like 75 miles an hour. Ooh. Oh, that one definitely rattled it. Hit that one harder. Ooh. Now we're smoking it. Let me try to hit that back right corner. Ooh. Okay. Swinging it harder. I'm up to mid 70s bass speed right now. Definitely hitting it harder. We should be up near 90. Probably not that much more. Cage is taking it. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -oh. Ooh. That definitely rattled it. That Ooh. Now, if you guys haven't seen my transition videos, the Bonds, Yelich, the Cruise, the Connection Drill, you can see how those will change your swing over a period of time. I'm probably going to do those drills with this net over the course of the next week, um, but I'm not going to post the video again because, you know, you guys have already seen it or the videos are available. Let me know who you want to see me train like for a week, for, you know, a month, whatever it is. Ooh. 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 You know, guys, if you need to get quicker, you take soft thoughts, you think about hitting the ball low, backspinning it, um, you stay short to it, and you can build a better bat path, a better better quickness, better everything within, you know, one week's time. A 10-3, baby. That second swing. Second swing, 10-3. Thank God. Ooh, I'm dead. I am dead, guys. Ooh, I'm tired. The net's holding up to real baseball. It's durability-wise over time. I don't know how it's going to do. It held up for one day. Uh, I cracked the net, but luckily they give you replacement ones. Or the uh, fiberglass rod, but they give you replacement one to start with. So I learned from my mistake. Look, they even have hitting drills with this. This one, you swing completely under the ball. Oh. This one, you gear up, freaking dip and rip, oh. swing straight over the ball. And then at the end, you'll hit a perfect line drive. 